Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Our Sunday has been beautiful across the valley and what a way to end it. We're seeing a gorgeous sunset in the capital city, taking that live glance off to the north and west. Still some fire in the sky, but eventually we're going to see more cloud cover as we progress through the remainder of our night. That is thanks to more of an onshore flow that's developing. We'll tap into a little more moisture in the air and that will lead to some of those clouds. But we do have a little disturbance aloft that is trying to get some clouds to develop across the region. But for the most part, we're still seeing that mixture of clouds and sunshine that we've seen through a good chunk of the day. And overall, we're dry on the Storm Team Live Radar Network, but chances for rain are going to go up later on in the work week. So this evening we'll still call it partly cloudy. We'll dip back into the middle and upper 50s, but clouds are going to continue to thicken up with that southeasterly breeze through the overnight and with that light wind and still somewhat saturated ground after yesterday's rain. We're going to have to watch out for patchy fall once again as lows only dip into the middle to upper 40s, well above where we should be for this time of March. Then tomorrow, not going to see a lot of sunshine. Still some peaks, but still warm. So a glass half full kind of work uh, start to our work week. We'll have highs in the low to mid 60s. We had 63 today, our lowest 33, so a 30 degree swing in our temperatures, well above average on not only our highs, but also our lows too, ringing in just four degrees above normal, but nowhere near that record low of nine set back in the 1925 and no rain recorded officially. And talking about the warmth today, looking back since the start of 2024, we've had 16 days of high temperatures at 50 degrees or higher. So it really has been an unseasonably warm year so far. And it's looking like that trend going to continue as we progress into March. Right now we're down into the low 60s in Gettysburg, still hanging on to nearly 60 in the White Rose City and the capital. It is 59 at the moment in Lebanon, but still much warmer than where we were 24 hours ago. Yesterday, of course, we had the clouds, the damp conditions, and it really wasn't until late in the day where we saw some peaks of sun. Today, a much different story. Predictor shows the clouds, though, starting to move back in as we step through the evening into the overnight. You can see that wind switch more from the south and east, that onshore flow bringing more moisture into the air. And you can see what it does. Clouds right through the morning commute tomorrow. Still a little bit of sunshine getting through the clouds, but not the brightest looking day like we had today. I think we'll stay dry though, but the clouds continuing to thicken ahead of a storm system that is going to lift up the uh, eastern seaboard as we progress into Monday night through early Tuesday. So chances for rain really increasing through midweek and even on Thursday, still looking like we're going to have the potential for some showers around. So really an unsettled work week developing. Here's the first system Tuesday. This area of low pressure going to really lift right up over the area. You can see we're going to have rain around throughout the day, not for the entirety of the Commonwealth, but the valley looks gloomy and wet catching a little break as that moves away. Then our next system quickly moves in late Wednesday. So we're expecting rain likely later in the day and it lasts right into our Thursday. So definitely going to be a wet week. And before it's all said and done, at least with the first two systems, could have a nice one to two inches of rain across the area with some spots picking up possibly a little more. So we'll have to watch that flooding potential. And we're not done yet. Another system is coming down the pike on the Newsday Storm Team 10 day forecast. So with that, definitely going to be a little cooler with the chances for rain. Again, likely Tuesday, Wednesday, lingering into Thursday, Friday, a brief break drier. We're back into the middle 50s and then we're expecting that next storm system to move in late Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, looking wet. The bright spot we are going to spring forward. If you're happy about that, we'll have more sunlight later in the day there, McKenna, as we head through next week. All right. Thanks, TJ. <laughs>